let me start first with a brief story. Before attending a dinner at my rowing club, I went into the bar. Seeing an attractive young lady, I thought that I would chat her up. Suddenly, there was an influx of people and we were pressed together. My nose was squashed in the cleavage between two magnificent breasts. My embarrassment made me realize how tall the lovely lady was. I had, in fact, been introduced to one of the many continuing rapid changes related to our human bodies. The increase of height of 10 centimeters during the last few hundred years seems to have peaked in 1970. <laughs> Here I am, rowing at the age of 91, with a 15-year-old who is already well over a head taller than me. There is continuing increase in girth. Obesity is now a major world health problem. World obesity has doubled since 1980. 12% of the world's population is obese. In the Americas, it is even 26%. Obesity can cause diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. Already 10% of the world's population suffer from diabetes. A world pandemic of diabetes is already a reality. By 2030, it is estimated that 50% of the US population will be obese. In obesity, it is the pre frontal part of the brain that shrinks. The prospect of the most powerful nation of the world with 50% of the US population having shrinking brains is frightening. Never in human history have so many humans been so overweight and so obese. The world's population is now 7 billion. Very soon there will be 8 billion people inhabiting the earth. If at this point a pandemic were to destroy half of the world's population, there would still be double the amount of people that existed when I was a child. The continuing aging of the population is one of the most remarkable success stories of the human race in modern history. There will soon be more people over 60 than children under 15. But man has destroyed the wonder of aging by transforming it into an age of degeneration and disease. 92.2% of the over 65 in the United States has one or more chronic diseases. 40% of the 60 plus take five or more medicaments a day. 45% of the 85 plus have Alzheimer's. Natural, healthy aging is unseen, covered by a blanket of disease. In fact, it is falsely assumed that disease is a natural consequence of aging. Lift up the blanket and there could be surprises. <laughs> Lifelong work, continuous education, competition in strenuous sports, beauty queens in old age could be a reality. The age now, however, are overnourished, overmedicated, and physically and mentally inactive. Inactivity is a major cause of death. How did this happen? Our bodies are still those of the Paleolithic era, when we were hunter-gatherers. Food was scarce, 
that as much food as possible was consumed and the excess stored as fat so that we could survive the next famine. As physical and mental activity was enormous, unnecessary activity was avoided. Today, with an excess of food and survival no longer dependent on huge physical and mental effort, our instincts still tell us to consume an excess of food and avoid activity as much as possible. Those instincts that in the past enabled us to survive are now destroying us. But successful aging is possible. There are three factors that contribute to successful aging. They are work, diet, and exercise in that order. <laughs> I will address each in turn. Work. The aged suffer from inactivity, poor diet, overweight, diabetes, etc., just as the general population does. But in addition, this is severely compounded by retirement. Retirement is voluntary or involuntary unemployment for up to 30 years. We know that unemployment causes chronic disease and mental problems, as well as poor health, disability, more medical consultations, more medication, more hospital admissions. Work, on the other hand, is therapeutic, good for health, and is an intrinsic part of improving and maintaining health. Work is a determinant of self-worth, family esteem, identity, and standing in the community. This graph shows the energy expenditure at different ages. One can see that in retirement, the physical energy expenditure for occupation is removed and the pensioner is left with little or no physical or mental activity. Remember, inactivity kills. In the UK, retirement was reduced from the age of 70 to 65 in 1946 when life expectancy was 65 years. The retirement age was never intended to be earlier than life expectancy. Today, however, retirement can start 25 to 30 years earlier than life expectancy. Our pension schemes are financially unsustainable. It is the destructive effects of retirement on physical and mental health that have not only been ignored but vastly underestimated. It is essential that the aged be integrated into the workforce, not only for financial but also for health reasons. Retirement is not the end. It can be a new beginning, a chance, a chance a chance to build a new body, develop dormant talents and start a new life for the next 30 years. Start a new successful company. The 55 to 65 decade is the highest decade of entrepreneurial activity with the highest long-term success rate. You have nothing to lose except the chains of convention. Reti retirement is a massive health calamity and a future financial disaster. Diet. Fast processed and junk food together with soft drinks take advantage of our cravings. 
Consuming these foods can lead to nutritional imbalance, exercise. Vanity is a huge asset. <laughs> even, even at 87, I wanted an Adonis body in order to turn the heads of these sexy young 70-year-old girls <laughs> on the beach. I wanted a six-pack, but my coach said we must first work on my bottom, which she said was a catastrophe. <laughs> Exercise is both a preventive measure and a treatment. The success rate of exercise therapy for a number of conditions is well over 40%. The number of diseases that are treatable by exercise is continuously increasing. Research has shown that those who participate in strenuous competitive sports live longer. Obviously, training for competition is more intense. And in addition, competition gives valuable adrenaline rushes. At present, longer life expectancy means an ever-extending period of state-supported or company-financed retirement, more disability and more health costs. This was never anticipated. By 2025, it is estimated that the cost of interest payments, Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security will consume all U.S. federal income. The economic consequences of chronic disease are so substantial that if present trends continue, nation states could be bankrupted. In the near future, it will be those countries that have the healthiest populations with the healthiest brains that will rule the world. What can you do? Save your health and save humanity. One of the most interesting developments is the fact that we can rebuild old bodies. The body of an 80-year-old has lost about 50% of his muscle mass since the age of 50, which has been replaced by fat. By removing the fat and regenerating lost muscle, we can give the 80-year-old a body composition similar to that one of 20 or even 30 years younger. Two men. The first is 20 years older than the second, not the other way around. A beach body at 90 is no longer a dream, but a real possibility. I have little time to tell you more, but you have no time to lose. You can rebuild your body at any age. It's like trading in your car for a new one. When I was in Chicago in 1950, I traded in my Chevrolet list price $3,000 for an Oldsmobile 98, list price $5,000. I asked the salesman, what is the difference between these two cars? He said two words, more Car, what do you get when you trade in your body for a new one? More body, more mind, more spirit. Go for it.
This was wonderful, Charles. I mean, I don't have to add anything. The reaction is so obvious. I really love it that bodybuilding will save humanity, I guess. <laughs> so I can also imagine that after this, a lot of people will, in the next break, maybe go for the fruit rather than for the cake and maybe run home instead of taking the train. Would that make you happy? Uh, well, as far as fruit concerned, I would just like to say that in the Garden of Eden, um, if, <laughs> if Adam had re refused the fruit offered by Eve and instead eaten the snake protein, <laughs> the world would be different. <laughs> Thank you, Charles. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wonderful.